The Dutch capital's main canals are lined by thousands of historic brick buildings, forming an aesthetic uniformity that house monuments, residential apartments, restaurants and trendy cafes. This is undoubtedly one of the most charming and trendy cities on the planet, a stunning latticework of romantic bridges and canals, picturesque cobbled streets, strikingly elegant architecture, and bikes, lots of bikes. Amsterdam is best visited between April and May, spring, or September through November, autumn, right before or directly after the summertime high tourist season. The Czech capital is dubbed the City of the Thousand Spires because of its many historical monuments that have been beautifully preserved and date from practically every period in history. Prague's most famous attraction are the bridges that cross the Vltava River, especially the amazingly elegant Charles Bridge, but the stunningly beautiful Old Town Square and Prague Castle are equally impressive. Add the cobblestone streets and atmospheric alleyways that zigzag through town and you know that few other cities delight the senses as much as Prague. The best times to visit Prague are the spring and the fall with clear skies, mild temperatures and not so much tourists. Summer months are hot but bearable but this is high season and as a consequence, hotel rates are skyrocketing. If you want to enjoy a snow-covered Prague without having to push through crowds of fellow sightseers, consider a romantic winter trip. Without a doubt, Hong Kong, also dubbed the Pearl of the Orient has one of the most photographed and impressive city skylines in the world. The towering skyscrapers and futuristic buildings that are set against the lush mountain backdrop create a breathtaking, urban scenery that is unmatched in the world. Besides its skyline, Hong Kong is also known for its vibrant lifestyle, friendly people, a splendid harbor, loads of shopping and its wide range of restaurants and cuisines. The city enjoys a mild climate from the middle of September to the end of February, with warm and sunny days. The weather from May to mid-September can be hot, wet and humid, with August being the wettest month and the peak of typhoon season. Monumental squares, centuries-old churches, famous boulevards, the Seine and romantic bridges that cross it, magnificent palaces, and Montmartre's cobblestone streets make Paris the most glamorous and elegant of all cities. The City of Light has not only inspired painters, sculptors, writers, poets and composers but also practically every major world capital, with every city claiming its own champs alias A. Cruise on the Seine or watch the world pass by from a cafe terrace or and it's easy to understand why so many people fall in love with Paris. The best times to visit Paris are spring April to June or fall September to October. There's a Brazilian saying that God made the world in six days, the seventh he devoted to Rio. Blessed with one of the most dramatic settings in the world, 
Rio never fails to impress its visitors. Anyone standing by the world-famous Corcovado statue or at the top of the Sugarloaf Mountain will experience one of the globe's most exciting panoramas, as the deep blue of the Atlantic Ocean mixes with the bright white of the sandy beaches and the fresh green of the lush tropical vegetation. Yes, this is indeed the marvelous city as locals call it. Best time to visit. The spring months of September and October are the best months to visit Rio de Janeiro, with dry, sunny and warm weather. Summers in Rio are hot but there is plenty of torrential rainfall. Nevertheless, summers may be a good time to visit this gorgeous city, if you want to attend the outrageous New Year's Eve celebrations on Copacabana Beach or the legendary carnival celebrations in February. Winters are colder so the beach may be off-limits on some days but mostly dry and sunny. Artsy, bohemian and stunningly beautiful, San Francisco's gorgeous bay lends the feeling of a beach resort to the city of 43 hills. No other city in the USA and few in the world are as loved by its inhabitants as the Bay City. With an abundance of attractions, such as bell ringing cable cars, spectacular bridges, infamous Alcatraz, the ferry building, a foodie's paradise, and of course the sea lions at Pier 39, it's best to explore this magnificent city on a bike. Autumn from September to November is the best time to visit San Francisco, with warm temperatures and sunny days. Spring is another good time, but you can expect the breezes to have a little more bite. The Golden Gate City witnesses a surge in tourism during the summer, but this is not a good time to visit since the city is quite often engulfed by a fog layer, making summer days quite chilly and you will miss the views. Winter days in San Francisco are often marked by rain and cold temperatures, despite this being California. Located on seven hills overlooking the Tiber River, Rome is a treasure trove of ancient monuments that are inspired by grand classical architecture and set among some of the world's most beautiful squares and avenues. Of course, everyone visits the Eternal City for its famous landmarks and must see sites such as Vatican City with St. Peter's Basilica, the Colosseum with the adjacent Roman Forum, and Piazza Novona with the nearby Trevi Fountain. But don't forget to visit the less-known Trastevere district as well, filled with faded palazzi, picturesque streets, and lovely homes decorated with flower boxes. Spring, April to June, and autumn, late September to October, are the best months for visiting Rome, temperatures are mild, the days sunny and the crowds not quite so intense yet. In summer, the city teams with visitors and the weather at uncomfortably hot. The winters can be a surprisingly cold, wet and grey affair. New York, the Big Apple represents the ultimate cosmopolitan destination and defines the urban lifestyle. Here, you can visit some of the world's best museum collections, shop till you drop, attend world-class performances, and find yourself having to make tough choices when it comes to dining out. And while there's no denying that New York City is expensive for visitors, there are lots of free things to do. Best time to visit, anytime. Each season in Gotham offers visitors plenty of reasons to visit. Early fall offers crisp breezes, bright sun and comfortable temperatures, Indian summer, and May the best time for a visit. Winter can be cold, but that also means better hotel rates. Spring is glorious and New Yorkers celebrate the thaw by taking to the streets, shopping at outdoor markets, frolicking in Central Park and dining outside. Summer can be unbearable hot, so try to avoid July and August. Vancouver's spectacular mountains, wildlife-filled waters, that orcas call their home, 
and lush rainforests, where bears roam freely, overwhelm the beauty of the city itself, where scenic glass skyscrapers reflect the views that surround them. Add to this the relaxed mentality of its super-friendly inhabitants and you are in for an awesome trip. As long as it is not raining. Vancouver is notorious for its abundance of rainfall in autumn, winter and spring, so try to visit between June and September for the most reliable and driest weather. Blessed with some of the world's most amazing beaches, jaw-droppingly beautiful mountains, rolling hills of vineyards, spectacular drives, and tons of trendy bars and fine dining restaurants to choose from, it is hard to imagine a more picture-perfect city destination than South Africa's mother city, and frankly, you won't find a better one. Combine this with some of the best accommodation and service on offer anywhere in the world and you are left with one of the hottest city destinations you will ever visit, and you will want to return again, and again. Best time to visit, Cape Town's hot, dry summer months run from late October to March, April. Temperatures reach their peak between December and February, and this is generally seen as when to go to Cape Town when you want a beach holiday.